In this video, I am going to show you how quick and easy it is to program NOAA and Skywarn frequencies into your Boofwang radio or pretty much any of what the online experts refer to as cheap Chinese radios. And as an added bonus, I will then show you how to scan through those channels. And finally, unlike pretty much every other YouTube channel on the YouTubes, I am going to do all of this without making you watch any kind of stupid fancy intro and without begging you to subscribe or mash the stupid like button. The overall steps of what we will be doing here today are, number one, look up and find the Skywarn or NOAA frequency or frequencies for your Pacific area. B, enter that information from step A into your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. And finally, number four, store it as a channel within the memory banks of your Boofwang radio. And then the bonus step, how to scan through all of those channels. Step one, the first step to getting a Skywarn or NOAA channel on your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio is to know what frequency they are on in your Pacific area. For this part, you simply consult your Google machine and you will find something like this. But because I know that you are lazy and half of you watching right now probably do not even know how to use the Googles, I will put a link to both of these pages in the more information section of this video below. When you finally find your way to the respective pages on the Skywarn listings, you will find a frequency and a PL tone. And for the NOAA frequencies, you will find only a frequency. Assuming that you want to only listen to the Skywarn frequencies, you do not need to worry about the PL tone or offsets or any of that other extraneous and confoculating information. You can totally ignore all of that. If you are a Skywarn member and you wish to make Skywarn reports, then you will need that information and someone should have already trained you how to do all of this. And you should not be watching this video for that information. So for either the Skywarn or NOAA frequencies, you will need to write down or otherwise retain that frequency information for use in the next step. Step two, we will now begin the long and confoculating process of entering the frequency discovered in step one into the radio. And first of all, you must ensure that your Boofwang or similar radio is powered on. Mode. You must then put your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio into VFO or frequency mode. And you do that by pressing the VFO MR button. Thusly. As you can see with your very own visual sauce packets, when in channel mode, you will see little channel numbers here. And when in VFO mode or frequency mode, frequency mode. you will see no such channels. And of course, the sexy Boofwang lady will also tell you what mode you are in. Once in frequency mode, simply type in the frequency that you attained in step number one. Thusly. One, four, seven, three, six. If there are only two digits after the period, hit the zero afterward. Zero. Just like you learned in third grade math. If when entering the frequency, the sexy Boofwang lady says, Cancel. Then you did it wrong. If this occurs, please rewind the video and try again. Otherwise, if you did everything correctly, you should see the frequency on the screen and you are now actively monitoring that frequency. If this is the only frequency that you... As I was just saying, if this is the only frequency that you wish to listen to and you do not plan to do anything else with the radio, then congratulations, you are done. However, if you wish to store multiple frequencies, you will have to save them into the radio as separate and independent channels. And for that, we must move on to the next step. 
Step number three, to save a channel, make sure that the frequency that you wish to save is on the screen and ensure that you have that line selected. Allow me to elaborate. As you can see, there are two lines on the screen. One line is on the top and one line is on the bottom. And this is because this radio can listen to two channels or frequencies at the same time. And in order to save one of those two frequencies as a channel, you must select the one that you wish to save. And you do that by pressing the blue AB button. Each time you press said blue AB button, you will see that the little cursor icon thingy goes from line A to line B and then back thusly each time you press the button. Once you have the correct line selected, you can then save that frequency to a channel by pressing the menu button and finding the memory channel option by scrolling up or down with the arrow buttons. Pro tip, instead of scrolling through all of the menu options like some kind of an idiot, you can just hit two and then seven which is the corresponding menu button number for the memory channel option. Either way, once you get to the memory channel menu option, press the menu button again to select that menu option, and then scroll up and down to pick which channel number you wish to store this frequency in. For this demonstration purpose, I will be using memory channel four. You then hit the menu button again, and the channel has been saved. Congratulations, you have now saved that frequency as a channel. And when in channel mode, you will quickly be able to access that channel. Many of you may also want to add a custom channel name, such as you see on your screen here, so that you will know what it is you are looking at and listening to when you scroll through your channels. However, I am sorry to inform you that you cannot add a custom channel name, such as this one, directly on the radio. Nay, for that you must connect the radio to your computer and use the Chirp software. And doing that is far beyond the scope of this specific video. Finally, if you have added multiple channels and you wish to scan through those channels, simply ensure that you are in channel mode. Frequency mode. Channel mode. And then press and hold the star key, which as you can see also says SCN, which is short for the word scan. And as you can see, my Boofwang UV5R is now scanning through my saved channels. Congratulations, because if you made it this far, you have actually accomplished something useful with your cheap Chinese radio. <laughs>